Wife of six years ripped my heart out. Hey everyone I have been lurking this subreddit for a bit and finally with the end of almost two decade relationship, I am going to share my own story that happened these past few weeks. I've been with my wife since 2006 and she really was the love of my life. High school sweethearts that had its ups and downs, but ultimately I married her after what I felt was long overdue. I am 29 years old and she just turned 30. We were both there throughout the relationship pushing each other to better ourselves where ultimately we moved to a whole other state for my job. We have no children other than our dog that we both love dearly, so it is going to make what happened next a bit easier this past year I was promoted with my job and ultimately, it was great moving to a work-from-home situation. Unfortunately, this same year I could feel my wife drifting away. She would still seem to be trying to show interest in the relationship, but it felt like she wasn't really there. Little to no sexual advances, h -ed. little to no affection if anything. Simply put I could feel that she was checked out. So spring forward to a couple weeks ago with our anniversary and her birthday that took place. Something felt off and I just had to get to bottom of it. I'm not going to say I'm Nostradamus or anything but the day I found out I had a dream with a voice literally telling me over and over again my wife was cheating with the AP name. It just stuck to me and I snooped a bit and found some text that confirmed everything. When confronted she initially denied it. Then it went to it was just one kiss. Then it went to it just one time. I made the mistake of believing her and thinking I could salvage what we had. It's been maybe five days and although I was trying to move forward I snooped again this time on the AP information phone slash address slash etc. I'm not idiot and would never do anything to my wife or the guy but a part of me wanted to ensure he didn't have a family that should know as well. Either way she found out I had snooped, had an anxiety attack at her work, and was picked up by the AP and taken back to his place where he comforted her. She got home and I confronted her about messages I saw on her iPad from her friends asking about the details of this cheating incident and she admitted to cheating again. Next step is divorce as trying to reconcile was a mistake I am just hurting and have very little self-esteem at the moment. Not entirely sure what my next step should be. I'm going to head to sleep after the drama that happened today, first time posting anything on Reddit so let me know if anything breaks the rules and ill remove it. Update. Hey everyone, I wanted to firstly start off by thanking a lot of you as I received a ton of support both through the post and through messages. I truly was in a dark spot last week so trust me it helped. A few people had reached out so I figured I would just update the situation here. For reference original post is here. We have both decided divorce is definitely the way to go and trust me it is one of the hardest things for me to get over even when I know it is for the best. We have started the process to get everything done and unfortunately we still both reside at our property until we can start the process to get that sold. This has honestly been the roughest week of my marriage with her making it even worse as the days go by. She has started talking to other guys on dating apps along with continuing whatever she has with the AP. In my head, I can't even begin to fathom trying to look for someone currently and even when presented a situation to take a girl out, I couldn't pull the trigger. I don't understand how moving on can be so easy for her when I am struggling. The good news is I go back to work next week so hopefully that will distract me throughout the day. I am realizing now that normal things like going out to eat, catching a movie, or going to the store is horrible alone. I am dreading going to see a movie by myself, but have been looking forward to the movie since before the pandemic so I'll suck it up. I have been trying to pick myself up and at the very least put myself out there to make friends through meetups but haven't been actively looking for one to attend as of yet. The best thing that came out of this is the rekindled friendships and family that I haven't spoken to in years as I never really used social media but decided to reappear on Facebook where I was flooded by friends and family and most don't know my situation as I haven't spoken to them about it. Now even with this my SDBXW is getting under my skin as she said that these friends and family abandoned me and that she was the one that was there for me. As I stated previously we were always there pushing each other to better ourselves and she was there when my mother passed and I was all types of emotions when I was 18. For some reason this one.
Struck a chord as my family or friends never abandoned me we just drifted until there was no communication, especially being states apart. Probably more my fault on the lack of communication with them. Either way she found out I was talking to them and immediately took offense to it and went on the defensive saying I was talking trash about her. The funny thing is the ones I did console with simply got a statement along the lines we are getting a divorce because she cheated. I didn't go into detail, nor did they ask. All I can say for anyone dealing with a horrible situation in a relationship slash marriage is that it is not easy. It might be easy for them, but for us that have to deal with the pain it sucks. I don't know how long before I truly get over this, but each and every day it is getting easier and easier even if it is a 100-mile road and I'm moving centimeters a day. Hopefully if I decide to update this further, I'll come back with some better news. Again, thank you everyone for everything this past week. Story 2. What are the chances they are just friends? W.S. 35M of 11 years he dropped the bomb on me, 35F, back in April 2021. He had me on the line for a bit, until the one AP fell through, she was according to him. I mean when he dropped the bomb. After that I noticed his changed behavior and doth a bit finding out he had been on Ashley Madison and other dating apps. He admitted he liked to flirt, but whenever they wanted to meet he ghosted them, something he wasn't proud of. He met an older woman, 46-47F. He's been talking to constantly on the phone, smiles when he gets a text from her, goes to her house for three days every 14 days like clockwork. Her oldest kid is 3-4 years younger than us, I believe he said they were 31 as either way it's uncomfortable. I finally noticed he pretends to be sorry and open up, then drops the bomb saying he's going to her place. He's ordered her gifts that is sent to our house instead of sending them straight to hers. They are going to a well-known party place in two weeks. I'm a tad concerned with COVID and our child unvaccinated how this may impact our child's health. He gets so excited to go to her house, 90 plus miles one way, and it hurts. He wouldn't help me move out sooner as I'm back in college and a stay-at-home mother slash wife. He could afford to temporarily help me until the divorce that he wanted is done. I've done nothing but try to save for his spending habits by doing the things myself. Meanwhile, I'm packing up things preparing to move out. It's not something he wants to work on, but hopes someday we can be friends. Our son is devastated, he doesn't want to move again. We moved across country for his work multiple times. He's decorated the master bedroom, spending hundreds of dollars living his best bachelor life, partying or whatever he is going to do. Purchased himself a pin-stripped suit and dress shoes, I am assuming, to impress the next person. Meanwhile, I'm in boxes, trying to juggle. Being a responsible adult, destroyed at being together 17 years, married 11 of those, couldn't prevent this. My therapist says it's not me, but I guess I'm not good enough. I'm boring, plain, responsible. Also, any advice on how to stop pain shopping?